Hey folks, Carlo here. Thanks for downloading my preset. Now it's time to show you how to use it into your project. Let's go. So you drag the preset file into your project and create a folder in Premiere. After you have imported the file, you click the icon button at the bottom left corner to preview the transitions and see what it looks like. Now we'll just zoom in a little bit to make it clearer. And once you have selected the transition that you want, just drag and drop it on top of your clip. And that's it. You're done in two seconds. How good is that? Now there are a few important steps to remember before applying the transition. Make sure that you turn on the icon that allows the sequence contents to be inserted as individual clips. This icon must be gray, not blue, and ensure that all video tracks are activated except for video track 1 because the preview file is located in the first video track as you can see here if you look closely to the sequence. Once all these steps are in place, just drag and drop your selected transition on top of the video clip and it's important that you align the peak of the transition to the cut in between your clips. Now question, what if I'm working on a project with a different resolution? What if you're using 720p, 4k, 8k or 12K? Is there a 12K? Anyway, so this is how it works. For example, this sequence is in 4K, and since the transition settings is in for HD or 1920 by 1080, this is how it will look like if you drop it into your timeline. So how do we fix this? Simply highlight the adjustment layers, right click, then select scale to frame size, hit render, and that's it. The transition is now matched perfectly with your sequence settings. Another question, what if I get an error message or Premiere can't locate my files? Now if you're using an older version and you haven't updated to the latest version, well just simply click offline all and you'd still be able to edit and use the transitions into your project. Thanks for watching. Once again, this is Carlo. If you want to get more um, Adobe Premiere Pro tutorials and free presets, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. So there's only one thing left to do now. Stop watching this video and start creating. <laughs>